going on guys you're here bringing you another daily shave so continuing on the trend of software reviews today is going to be the west coast shaving unscented shaving soap and this right here is a nice real treat especially for those of you who are new and or veterans of using shaving soaps that are unscented so as we all know it's tallow based i haven't used it yet but we're gonna go ahead and use that today we're using an omu bore brush that's been soaking and the skull. I've been using boar brushes lately, I've been enjoying them. And then we're just continuing on that shave with the Mercur with the same Dorco Prime blade. I already got out of the shower, so face is nice and hydrated, but we're just gonna put the face really quick. <clears throat> so, going to Unscented, I reached out to Peter Charcalis, just to kind of poke at his brain <clears throat> to see if there's any benefits per se of unscented shaving soaps. I mean, the ingredients are still the same. It's just whether or not it's scented or unscented. Ideally, benefits are, it's mainly for those of you who do have sensitive skin, or in some cases, like uh, Abe, he used to do videos on this channel. He eventually developed like, a sensitivity to certain scented oils, so he just really went to unscented shaving soaps. And honestly, it's great for sensitive skin. There's no smell, there's no nothing. Like, there's zero smell, like, at all. Just smells like plain soap. And, you know, for those of you, like I said, who have sensitive skin, this right here is just gonna be perfect in your little house. You know, so that way you're not worried about frag burn, is what we would call it. You know, those scent, the oils that they use to make the scents, some people's faces just cannot take it. And I apologize, I forgot. The post shave is going to be Royal Copenhagen, right here. And at the time of making this video, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to every one of you. I hope you guys had a nice dinner with your family, sat down, and had a nice time. Get some time off of work if you did. <clears throat> and now, going back to the soap, what's also another cool benefit is if you're a frag head. Meaning by that, I mean you like to wear colognes and you like to wet shave, but you don't want like a scent to interfere, you know, with, with the cologne that you're wearing. So... If you have an unscented soap and splash, that's mainly just for nourishing your skin. That's gonna be excellent. And then you can just go ahead and just top it off with whatever aftershave you want. And also, let's just say as well, you know, everyone's budget is different. Not everyone's gonna throw down a lot of money for multiple soaps and you know multiple splashes. What's pretty cool too is if you have an unscented soap, you can just get one soap because it's all the same base. But, you know, because for the West Coast Shipping lineup, and you can just, you can get one of the unscented soap, and then you can just try the aftershave splash after each of it, because it won't interfere with anything. So that's also like another plus two. I do know a few people that do do that, where they just have strictly maybe like one or two soaps that are like either unscented or lightly unscented, and it's in their personal favorite base they like to use for their shave. And then they just have either their colognes or their aftershaves. So we already know what to expect. Don't need to go into detail with the shaving soap. I have used this for quite some time now. Lathers like a champ. Mm-hmm. So, that's that. So yes, as with the soap base though, same skin nourishing shaving soap, as always, offered from Peter Sharkalis from Ariana and Evans in collaboration with West Coast Shaving. It's just an overall pleasure to sweat shaving, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. Like, just something about just the lather, the brush, and then the razor of your choice. 
This makes your grooming routine all but sweeter. But yes, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm not going to re-lather for the second pass. I'm just going to use the residual slickness and then I'll re-lather for the third. And one thing I love about DE blades is the little sharp ones get better over time. Almost like a board brush almost. You use it for a few times and then that sharpness kind of mellows out, but it still cuts nice and smooth. So it's really, really nice. <clears throat> but yeah, and as I'm making this video as well, West Coast Shaving is having a nice Black Friday sale. I believe 20% off on West Coast Shaving products, if I'm not mistaken, and 60% off on the door blusters. So really, really nice. Like I said in my last video, <clears throat> is, you know, West Coast Shaving usually always has a nice promo going on, whether it be free shipping or certain discounts on creams or soaps, aftershaves or brushes, but no matter what, they have deals to, you know, make you look, make you really win and see what, if you can get, you know, if you didn't have the money that time to get that brush you wanted or that soap you wanted and you're waiting for a deal to come around, West Coast Shaving always has it, you know, it's really nice. Okay, we're about there. Okay, and that nice slick. But yeah, Black Friday is upon us. And some good deals out there. Like if you're really on the fence of wanting to wet shave, right now is the weekend to do it. Greedy. Huh. Smooth. All right. That's it right there, ladies and gentlemen. So, like I said, right now, sales going on. It gives you an opportunity to try the new West Coast Shaving. And I know they got a whole plethora of new scents too. I can't list them all off the top of my head, but I know they have uh, they have Capri, the Unscented, the Leather, Marshmallow, um, Apple Cinnamon, and Peach, just to name a few. I think there's a few more in there that I missed, but right now, oops, let me just drop this towel. Right now, like I said, best time to go ahead and try your hand at wet shaving. If you're uh, brand new to it, so that way you don't throw a whole bunch of coin down. You know, you can save a little bit of money, but you are not compromising on performance and the value that you get when getting these items. So face, smooth as always. So really quick, the star of the show is going to be West Coast Shaving, <clears throat> the unscented shaving soap right here. Let me see, zoom in. All right, and then we used a Omu Bore Shaving Brush right here. Excellent shaving brush, excellent. The Mercur with a Dorco Prime Blade. And then we're just gonna finish off this nice shade with some Royal Copenhagen. Be careful with that, there's no restrictor on this thing. Oh yeah. Mm. Excellent. Nice and smooth. Well, all right. That wraps up my review for today. Um, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. A big thank you to West Coast Shaving, but a bigger thank you to the viewers. Take care, and I'll see everyone next time.